Hello and welcome everyone to anubavtrainings.com tutorials. In this today's tutorial, we will discuss about how to consume your SAP S4 HANA CDS views, including virtual data models as part of SAP Analytics Cloud for the analytics. Of course, you can use the custom queries and analytics CDS views as part of your embedded analytics within S4 HANA. I hope you have seen my video of comparison between SAP S4 HANA embedded analytics versus analytics cloud. If you've not seen that, please go back and check it on my channel. However, in case if you have already purchased a subscription for analytics cloud and wanted to bring your analytics right from the SAP S4 HANA CDS VDM as part of analytics cloud, you can watch and refer this video. So there are multiple ways we can connect to SAP S4 HANA system from SAP analytics cloud. So one way is having a direct connection, which is a live data connection, or option two is embedded data. We will be choosing embedded data connection today and see how do we bring data from our CDS views to SAP Analytics Cloud to build the stories. So let's get started. So let me first discuss the approach with all of you. What is the approach are we going to take? And then of course, we will uh, do things in the system accordingly. So I'm going to switch it over to my drawing palette. So what we will be doing is on one side, we will be having the SAP S4 HANA system. And this SAP S4 HANA system is where you have your virtual data models created, VDM, and that is something nothing but your analytic query or the cube type of CDS views. Now, there are two ways you can expose this out, either using an OData publish annotation or you can create an OData using Saddle. So I have already created a view over here in this, which is my analytic view. And this is also published as an OData service. Now, what you will be doing is, so right now my S4 HANA system is an internet facing cloud system. So I would not need any cloud connector in the middle. And on the other side, we have our SAP Analytics Cloud, which is, of course, running on the public cloud. Now, if this is an on-premise system, of course, you would also need to add in the middle SAP Cloud Connector. But currently, for our use case, we don't need this. Reason being, I, my system is already exposed on the internet. Now, the first thing which we need to do here is we need to create a data connection on the Analytics Cloud side to be able to talk to our S1 on a system. And then on the second side, what we need to do is we need to also go back and acquire the data by creating a data model. Now, when we're creating the data model, at that point of time, we're going to choose our data connection, which is an S4 HANA. So I've already created the data connection with the name called S4 HANA in my SAP Analytics Cloud trial account. And then I will be creating a data model on top of it. And of course, while creating the data model, we have to choose our CDS analytic query, which is what I will be showing you in a minute. And then of course, once the data is imported, we can just create the model. And finally, in the last step, we will be creating story. So this is what all the process for the entire thing will be. The prerequisite is having this data connection, which I've already created. If you want to learn how to build virtual data models in CDS, using CDS in S4 HANA, you can subscribe my ABAP on HANA come S4 HANA technical training with CDS views. If you want to learn how to create these data connections and learn all about all-in-one SAC Analytics Cloud, you can subscribe my SAP Analytics Cloud training. So to become a full stack developer or full stack um, expert on Analytics Cloud and S4 HANA both. However, in this video for keeping it simple, I'm just going through the, the created things already in the system. So step one, as you can see already, I'll switch over to my Analytics Cloud. And here I can show you the data connection which I've already maintained. So I will go to the connections. So we have also maintained another connection with, um, with the cloud, uh, cloud SAP HANA cloud platform cloud account with the live data connection. This also I will cover in one of the video, but right now you can see this is my S4 HANA system, which is internet facing. Yeah, so I've already created a connection over here. Now I will go ahead and create a data model right away. So I click on go create a new data model. And in the process of creating data model, I'll choose get data from data source. 
And of course, I will be going ahead and choosing my SAP S4 HANA system. And then I will select my data connection, which I've already created. Now I click on uh, create a new query, click on next. And now it's reading all the available uh, queries which are there in my system. So if you go back to my SAP S4 HANA system, you can see we have already created as part of our training this set of views, including interface views, composite views, the cube type view for analytics, and finally we created this analytic query. And we've also published this as a consumption CDS view with VDM as an ORATA service. So I can go ahead and pick up my entity name and I can go back and search for the same entity, which is, um, which is in the analytics cloud. So as I expand, I can see the available entity set. So of course I choose my CDS view name and click on next. And now over here, our system is going to fetch all the metadata information. Remember, it's an acquired data connection which I'm choosing. So all the data will be copied to Analytics Cloud. Of course, we can also have a live data connection with which you, the system or Analytics Cloud system is just going to replicate the metadata. It's not going to replicate the data, but in this case, it's an acquired data connection. So all the data will also be fetched from my source system into Analytics Cloud and will really be securely stored in Analytics Cloud. So I can quickly drag and drop my entire entity and you can see all my measures, including um, my dimensions are fetched. Let me just click on create of this data model. And now my data model starts getting created and it's also fetching all the data from my SAP S4 HANA system over here in this uh, Analytics Cloud. So you can see data fetching is in progress. So now the data fetching is complete. As you can see, I have got all my data from my SAP S4 HANA system as acquired data as part of Analytics Cloud. And of course, we can go ahead and carefully choose uh, different properties. Uh, over here, we can apply transformation. We can slice and dice the data. For example, if I don't want to keep certain columns, I can of course go back and delete them depending on my my requirements so as you can see these are the extra bit of columns which I would like to delete before I persist my model in the system so I can go back and delete all of these these columns from the system and now I've got all my gross amount X amount and profit amount also there is an extra bit of currency code column which I would like to also delete and now I have got my company name my product name um, and maybe I will also delete this particular column which I really don't need. So company name, country, product name, and currency. These are four of my dimensions. And then I have three of my measures which have been imported. Now, interestingly, Analytics Cloud also automatically assigns every record a unique ID over here. Now I can click on create model to just start creating this model and persist it as, as, my, as my data model for my further analysis. So let me go ahead and store it as part of the content and I will create a CDS based data query or data model. Let me click on OK. And now I can see system is persisting our data model in the system. So once the model is created as a standard practice, we can go ahead and start creating a story on top of the same. So that was the main aspect here. How do you fetch the data from your existing virtual data models in SAP S4 HANA? We can also schedule here an import job to automatically keep updating the data. You can always give a scheduling setting. So data keeps updating automatically in your analytics cloud on a different predefined intervals. So those jobs you can schedule, which is what we will learn more detail as part of our training. So now we will come back. Our model is ready. So let me straight ahead go and create um, a story on top of it. So I'll go back and say create um, a new story. So we'll create a new story. And probably I would like to run a smart discovery right away on our data model, which is based on CDS view. So that's our smart discovery feature in analytics cloud we can use. And we can just choose a dimension as cross amount. I would like to know more about cross amount. And yeah, that's all I would like to say run. And our system is doing a little bit of research on my data set and automatically it is going to generate the story pages for us, including the key influencers on my data. 
So that's the, the feature to just automatically generate the quick stories. Of course, you can go ahead and generate uh, nice stories on top of your data manually as we learned the BI features and planning features as part of our SAP Analytics Cloud training. So you can see the smart discoveries running. And now we've got here all the key influencers with their contributions and an automatic BI stories auto-generated in the system. You can see here the grouping, auto-grouping, smart insight is also created and system already creates now uh, this BI story for us. So all of this is auto-generated by the system. Of course, you can go back and check and create your own story as well. So ultimately, my serious data is being consumed by SAP Analytics Cloud. And on regular intervals, we can also go back and keep updating this data, which we have received. So that was the whole process of working out with CDS views and consuming analytic query as part of SAP Analytics Cloud. I hope you like this video and got an idea how to consume your CDS queries as part of SAP Analytics Cloud with a acquired data connection to S4 on a system. With that, Anubo signing out. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe and hit the like button if you enjoyed this video and do share it with your colleagues so that they can also learn these key concepts of Analytics Cloud with CDS views with anubotrainings.com. Thank you so much for watching and goodbye.